We just go as where we ask a guest or a listener to put together three tracks that are kind of groovy and upbeat but unusual. And I'm delighted to say that this week it's been put together for us by Richard H. Kirk, who joins me now from Sheffield. Hello, Richard. Hello. Tell us about the tell us about the new record. Um, the new record's recorded at Western Works. Is that your own place? It is, yeah. It's been the uh, long-term studio for Cabaret Voltaire since about 1977. So describe it to us. Uh, what kind of place is it, Richard? Western Works. Yeah. Well, it, it used to be uh, like an industrial building. Uh, we used to have the top floor and then it moved to another industrial space and yeah. then that went and now it's in a different place not so industrial but still basically the same equipment yeah. as, as well as new equipment it's not it's not all uh, and, totally vintage um, but if i were to, if, if if a vintage synth geek were to walk in would they be sort of drooling at the stuff you've got in there uh not really <laughs> i mean I'm, the human league have got a much much better collection of uh, old analog have they yeah i've got quite a lot but you know, I, 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 I kind of use, like, computers yeah. as well, obviously, yeah. these days. So when you first moved into Western Works back in the late 70s, the Cold War was at its height, and I think the return of some of that stuff has, has sort of influenced the new record, hasn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, funnily enough, the, the, old, the original Western Works, the, the, the building next door... There was a guy building nuclear fallout shelters, <laughs> and I, I, I kid you not. <laughs> tell, us, tell us about the title. Is it Dasein? Yeah. And what does that exactly mean? Um, well, it's got a lot of meanings. Uh, kind of being there yeah. or in the now, in the moment. You know, it's an old existential right. term from a Heidegger, I think, a yeah. ger German uh, philosopher. And it, it, I just kind of, I was really into all that stuff when I was younger. You know, yeah. I was reading Sartre and many, many years later, I was, I was just reading a, a, an article about that kind of thing and that's where I came across that name. And right. it just seemed somehow right you know yeah yeah um, and we'll be playing tracks from this album in subsequent weeks what what tell me how you, how does cabaret voltaire and richard h kirk kind of coexist now does it do you know they how, what's your thinking along those lines um well i mean cabaret voltaire at the moment is uh, it, it's just myself yeah and a load of machines okay. and, a, and a load of video projections so right I've, I've been you know taking that around festivals yeah. in europe for the past uh, two and a half years yeah I don't play anything from the from the past because I'm I'm, right, I'm not right into this kind of nostalgia thing where yeah. you get you get all these bands reforming and they're kind of trapped in this thing where people just want to hear the the greatest hits. I mean, not that Cabaret Voltaire ever ever had any hits anyway. <laughs> I haven't made a new record yet, but you know that's something I'm thinking about for the the latter part of this year. Great. Okay. Well, tell us about what you've chosen, these three tracks you've chosen for us, for what we call our weird disco. Let's have a chat about these. You're starting off with the, the Tornadoes. Yes. Uh, I mean, not so much chosen because of the Tornadoes, more probably because of Joe, Joe Meek. Meek. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just, I mean, just listen to the intro of that track, you know, for what, it, what was it, 1962 or yeah, something? Yeah, amazing. It just, it's just so, you know, futuristic and... And it's just like kind of quite jolly, but you know. And then you've got this weird kind of sooty phone keyboard line, yeah. which I, which I think is called a clavioline. The clavioline. I think yeah. he, he invented himself. I think he did, didn't he? Um, quite possibly. I mean, he invented a lot. Of, yeah. A lot of things. I've, yeah. In fact, I've I've got some Joe Meek plugins in my okay. computer. Well, you know. Yeah. With... What about Patrick Cowley, Sea Hunt? Um, Patrick Cowley is again. You know, I quite I play quite a few of his his, his tracks. I mean, I kind of knew about him via Sylvester's Mighty Real, you yeah. know, I mean, he, he was a producer but an artist in his own right, and, you know, it, it kind of reminds me as if, as, as if Martin Denny were to make a, yeah. a kind of dance track, you know, yeah. it, it's, it's quite exotic, you know, yeah. it's got that, I know it's a cover version of a TV series called Sea Hunt, yeah. I think it was the theme music, but I've never heard what the original yeah. sounds like. I'll have to dig it out and play it, and then, and then, um, and studs and the night barton to finish um yeah i mean it's kind of like electro but you know not using synths and stuff and and you know it's kind of wagnerian it sounds like they've got these kind of strings or something yeah. that sounds like a swarm of angry bees descending down <laughs> Well, listen out for that, listeners, and uh, listen out for tracks we'll be playing from Dasein in the weeks to come. This is Richard's Weird Disco. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you.
And the Neubarten with you gung the edge in Sherwood mix bringing to an end Richard H. Kirk's weird disco before it was Patrick Kelly's Sea Hunt and before that Riding the Wind by the Tornado. 